first of all, what I do is survey the major published texts. This line here shows uh, the loans being pumped. U.S. government was backing the loans. So I actually have it literally, physically, not just allegorically or metaphorically, physically, they're backing these loans, and the money's flowing up into these various deals. The way he's laying out these scenarios is not chaotic, and yet it is secretive, and a secret pattern is a conspiracy. Essentially what I do, the, the core of what I do is research and sketching. Uh, until I've done that, I do not have anything viable to say. Today is September 11th, and I think that uh, as an anniversary of this fateful day, it makes poignant in my mind that the work of Mark Lombardi, who unfortunately died in 2000, has become all the more meaningful and relevant and disturbingly compelling. took four to five newspapers a day, several magazines each week. He collected literally hundreds of books, and he started going through the books with the indexes in the back of the books and looking at names of individuals and putting them on three by five index cards. And the three by five index cards amounted to about 14,700 index cards. He used to tear articles out of magazines. magazines. And newspapers. You know, he'd find it something that drew his interest and he'd just take it out and put it in a box and save it for future reference. The late artist Mark Lombardi was obsessed with political intrigues at the highest levels. He made more than 14,000 index cards to keep track of all his research. Then he created these elegant drawings that seem like a conspiracist dream. These are the major texts that were written on BCCI, which was an Arab owned bank uh, that was essentially incorporated in Luxembourg, operated worldwide, and was, you know, the mother of all bank scandals. He had a flood in his studio. The sprinkler system in his studio malfunctioned right before the Greater New York show opened. And this huge drawing that he had been working on, kind of his masterpiece, that was, had, was already curated into the show, was destroyed. And what several people told me about it who knew about it was that he stayed up for three weeks to redo it. Stayed up for 24 stayed hours. Up for at least. 24 hours to, doing it. to redo the yeah. mm -hmm. Drank a lot of coffee, he said. This is right before his death, so completely sleep deprived, completely stressed out, keeping himself awake on God knows what. Have, you know, having a serious career threatening studio crisis. Think anybody's gonna come along and shoot you uh, <laughs> in the back of the skulls and that? Uh, no, I mean, uh, you know, uh, ha actually, I'll tell you, I have been asked that question before. What did you uh, say? I I feel it's a suicide. Yeah. Yes. Why do you say that? It's just the feeling I have. As I say, he was high strung. What do you want to say? Huh? I had never thought it was. I know you have. Um, this is one way in which I can map uh, the kind of the the political and the social terrain, you know, in which I live. <laughs>